friends, it's me again. I'm here to talk about the bucket backpack from Saddleback Leather. And I have a close friend in town, and I've convinced her about Saddleback Leather and about how awesome the company is, and she purchased this bucket backpack in Chestnut. And so uh, I am here today to talk to you about this bag, about her experiences, about my experiences, uh, I'm going to compare it to the simple, the medium simple backpack from Saddleback, but mainly this video will be about the bucket backpack. So here it is, I am 5'5", five five. Um, I wanted to start the video here, and we'll go into more details in a moment. Again, this is the chestnut leather, and um, the straps are really nice. I would say I have it on one of the last settings. Um, I think it's just because I like the bag hanging a little lower. Lauren, my friend here in St. Louis, she, she has it quite high up. She'll wear it on the last hole. But I, I mean, to each his own. But I like it here. So this is for scale. And, um, these straps don't have the padding that the simple backpack does. And, uh, I don't necessarily miss the padding, but um, let me take a seat here. I don't miss the padding on the straps because they do widen it, so it just, you know, um, I want to make sure I'm in frame. Stay tuned. I never edit these photo videos. It's all just one cut, so bear with me. Okay, so we have, um, it goes a little bit thicker on the strap, which really distributes the weight well. And um, you can adjust it only down here. There's no adjustment at the top. So this is the chestnut. And um, I have the, uh, the strap you can take off. We just have it here for now because I can show you. You can wear it in the crook of your arm. My bag is very heavy right now, so that kind of hurts. And then you can also wear it up on your shoulder. I don't think I'd wear it here. I don't like how I look with this on my under my armpit, but uh, Lauren does wear it like this. She has said that um, she likes a couple options there. And oh yeah, somebody online asked me, what does this bag look like with one strap? And I did some errands today wearing one strap, and feels good. It's a little. A little bit easier just to pick up one strap, not have to adjust your hair, you know, that whole awkward... <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get into the bag. I have some notes. My videos, I'm sorry, but they're, they seem to be long, so just bear with me. Um, this right now is actually knotted one time. I have it knotted... Okay, when it's knotted and the drawstring's all the way up, this is one of the main questions online. This is all the way up. I'm gonna tip. I'm gonna tip the bag upside down. Oh, look at that! I didn't even test this beforehand. Nothing's coming out. And um, that's just one knot. So I will unknot it. And I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, I don't think I can break anything. Let's see what happens. I would say I'm more cautious because you can see it already opened a little bit. Um, so it's kind of like if there was a monster in your bag and it wanted to get out, they could just get out by doing this. Um, so I don't know if that's a design flaw, but I would just always not one time and then go. And these straps. They came very long. They're in dark, dark coffee brown. That's a thing on their website. You don't actually know um, what color straps you'll get. So chestnut with dark coffee brown and then some tobacco. It looks great to me. But this is Lauren's call on whether or not she wants to trim them. If I owned this bag, I would trim these straps. I would trim them just to the amount it's needed. So when the bag's fully extended, probably to here, these are very long. Um, all right, so easy in and out. Let's do this a couple more times. Um, 
you know, you can open it here and then loosen it. But you really could just open it up like that. So consider that before you buy it. Um, this is a strap that you can take off. Some people use it as a key fob to find their keys. Not a key fob, a key strap. Um, Lauren has told me she likes to use this. She grabs it and just throws it next to her in the passenger seat. She is a mom of two beautiful children. Um, and we're all friends. And her kids are almost three. And I'm not a mom. I know moms always count babies in months. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Um, I never keep track. And then, like, maybe a one-and-a-half-year-old. So she's got her hands full, and she enjoys, um, I enjoy them a lot, and she throws all their baby stuff in here and goes to meetings. Um, yeah, so if you're a mom, consider this maybe as your stylish diaper bag, maybe. All right, we're going to go in, and somebody online asked, how easy is it to get things in and out? Does this um, strap get in the way? If you can see this. So let's just go in and grab my file effects. It didn't really hesitate me that much. Uh, this is the personal size file effects. Um, I'll keep pulling things out. I am pulling this up, so this is out of the way. Uh, this is a binder. Oh, see, that one kind of got stuck. You see here? Now that's because um, this is a wider object, so. Okay, we got it out. Just a little nice three ring binder. Pouch. Another pouch. Another pouch. I do like pouches. Let me get this out of the way so it's not blocking my light. Okay, keep going. Very deep. Um, Trifold wallet. This is another wallet I've been carrying around. A pouch. These are sunglasses, a case. And then, okay, this is important. I really hope, it's getting warm. Okay, I really hope the light is coming in on this. I'm gonna keep turning it until I feel like maybe at one point you saw what's going on. This is a generation one iPad, back in the iPad case, and this is the smart cover. <clears throat> okay, that's very snug. So keep that in mind, it's very snug. I was almost thinking it was keeping now, I was wondering if it was going to keep the smart cover open, but it didn't. So an iPad first generation does fit with a smart cover, but, you know, sometimes you have a saddleback leather cover, and um, I don't think it's going to fit in these dimensions. I use my cell phone to um, videotape this. So I'm using one of my cell phone jackets to show you the size. This is an HTC One Android, and uh, I'm just showing you it can fit okay in there. But now my friend Lauren, she has an iPhone 5S, I think, and she says it's not fitting. It's too snug. So what she's been doing is just throwing her keys and her cell phone up in here. Um, what else was going to tell you about these pouches? Shoot, I forgot, but uh, it'll come back to me. I do know that when I had all these items in here, it wasn't standing tall on its own. It's almost like, I can do it again, but I had everything in here, and I take the iPad out, and it will stand up tall. But having the weight on the back here was making it fall this way. So that was a question online. Somebody asked, you know, can it stand up on its own full? So this is it completely empty. Floppy, which I like. And uh, there's some pigskin lining. And then, you know what I could do? Watch this. We'll turn this on. This is one of my studio lights for when I paint. Maybe that's helping us get some more light in there. Turn that off. Um, so half the bag is pigskin lined, the other half is not. And I think that's for structure is the pigskin line part. And the floppiness is in the front, which is great. Um, this is chestnut. I said that eight times. But chestnut doesn't patina like tobacco does. Chestnut um, is a little more forgiving on scratches. They're not as noticeable. Things are easier to wipe off. But I do think it's a more polished look. I'm quite casual 
of a person, and Lauren is, um, Lauren is just, she's got great style, so I think that's why she chose Chestnut, and, um, I think it was a good choice for her, and let's, let me reference my notes, because I am rambling, and that's dangerous, so does it stand tall when it's full? It does, unless there's an iPad in that back pocket. Um, the strap doesn't get in the way from things getting in and out unless it's an extra wide thing like in the binder. I do like having it closed with a knot. I mean, that might be a deal breaker for some people. But in a perfect world, if I had all the money in the world, I would have so many leather bags. But I wouldn't mind owning this bag for myself and tobacco. And this is how I'd always close it. Okay, so comparing, I could start doing this. I could compare it to my simple, and I want to do the simple, the medium simple backpack in its own review because it's just such a great bag, but um, I wanted to compare the weights of both of these bags, and that is, this bag is 3.4 pounds empty, 3.4 pounds, and it retails for 2.59. Here is a simple backpack. This backpack weighs 4.8 pounds, so 3.4 and 4.8, and this retails for $458. Obviously, it's significantly more. I got mine used. I got a ridiculously good deal on it. I'm really excited about that, but um, sometimes used isn't an option, and uh, the main differences between these bags because I'm going to do its own review, but the main differences are the straps. But actually, Saddleback has just updated their design on the Simple, and these awesome removable cushions, look at this neoprene, these are no longer available. So if you want a Simple, a medium Simple backpack, you're going to have to buy one on eBay or one of the... Um, used markets out there on Facebook and uh, but I really like these straps I wear my backpacks low on my body I I find that this is a little more comfortable the simple is compared to the bucket but um, a lot of these things have similar features this one has simple has more exterior pockets you can see you can put your hand behind here this is a buckle Again, you can put your hand behind your buckle. And the bucket, no exterior pockets. So, sometimes that's the only reason I don't buy the bucket for myself, is that it doesn't have an exterior pocket. Because I just need my cell phone really quick, or my wallet, and I don't want to have to get into this. So, uh, and some people, that's not a deal breaker. But, then again, look at this. The closure for this. Okay. Say we just cinched it like this. Oh, I have to get my wallet out. Boom. Here we go. Okay. But if this was closed, which it normally is, I never wear it open on my back. Okay. I need something inside the body. I'm going to have to open. And then I'm at the cinch part and I have to uncinch it and then I can get in. So, yeah. These are just reviews so you can make your decisions for yourself. I'm not telling you what to do. I will while I'm touching this one. I'll uh, model it for you. So here is the medium simple backpack from Saddleback Leather. I'm 5'5". Five five. I wish I was taller but I'm not, and that's fine. So anyway, these, these straps, they are money. I love them. But subscribe to my, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and when I do a review on this, you'll get a notification. Um, I just, I'm taking my time doing a review on that because I just did one on the front pocket backpack, and I actually traded the medium from pocket backpack for the medium simple. Like I did even swap with somebody online. And I just want to get my information all together before I actually do a review. Okay, let's keep going with the bucket. I 
And I'm covering everything. I love it. I make these notes, and then I actually end up covering everything without referencing them. Stay tuned. Okay. We did it all. I'm going to end this video, which is probably the shortest video I've ever made, with um, Lauren's final thoughts on this bag. So Lauren got this a... Let's see, maybe a month ago, almost a month ago, and she, uh, I helped her find a person that was selling it used, so she didn't end up paying full price, but she uh, would have paid full price for it. It was just a good timing kind of thing. She actually borrowed my, <laughs> she borrowed my medium simple backpack for about a month. She went on a plane with it, she visited her family, um, she went on some trips with it, and then she's been using this. So she actually has a great um, opinion on which bag she prefers, and at the end of the day, she prefers this one. And so I asked her for her top five favorite things. She loves the quality of leather. This is 100% full green leather, which is the best in the entire world, and it has a 100-year warranty from the company, Saddleback Leather. Um... Her second favorite is that people notice the bag and give her compliments. And that sometimes is just a beautiful thing. Um, it makes you affirm your investment on leather. Let's see. Uh, number three, the size is just right, as well as the length of the straps. She loves even the shoulder strap. She just loves the length of all those things. She loves the stiff stiffness of the leather because the bag stays open when you want to get things out. It's not flopping on you when you're reaching in there. Um, she thought it was very affordable. We did get a deal on it for her, but um, even the full retail price, it's not outrageous. I mean, when you start comparing some of those other brand name bags, it gets so out of hand. So she thought it was affordable. Um, and again, she loves the hand strap across the top. Um, it's just great to grab and throw it next to you in the car, in the seat, next to you in the car. Okay, the thing she hates, the cell phone pouch and the iPad are too small. And the bag doesn't always stay closed. And the ties are too long. <laughs> but she says none of these are deal breakers. So hopefully this is a helpful, informative video. I did want to, I forgot this part. This is an iPad mini in the dark coffee brown um, case. And I wanted to show you that this fits in the back pouch. There's something still in there. Okay. This fits in the back pouch really well. Like, super easy. So, I've had minis in a bulky case will fit just fine. Um, somebody did mention, you know, how does the bag wear when you have it against your back? I would really encourage you to put flat objects right here. I don't think some keys with some funky keychains in that back pocket are going to feel good on your back because um, I thought I was almost done talking. The backpack on the simple, medium simple, has a neoprene pad right here. And the bucket backpack does not have that neoprene pad. Um, so this adds some more comfort, some rigidity, you know, objects that are funny shaped in the body of the bag aren't going to poke through. But they went on this. Um, not majorly, but it could, you know, if you're on a really long walk in the park or the zoo, I'm sure you'll start noticing something's not right back there. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is, we did it. Um, I guess just to really be thorough and side by side, because I'm only getting to borrow this bag for the weekend, uh, I'll compare the dimensions. So the medium simple the medium simple backpack is 11 wide, 14 high, 7 deep. And the bucket backpack is 16 high, 10 and a half wide, by 8 and a half deep. Now that's interesting because the height would be, let's see, the height is 14 and 3 fourths, and this is 16 in height. So this actually is bigger than this. Um, but this one obviously has exterior pockets. Wow, I didn't actually put that all together until just now. Interesting. So, uh, 
Let me know if you have any questions in the bottom of this video. Subscribe. I am um, I'm not affiliated with Saddleback Leather. I'm actually thinking about having a link that will, if you click on it and buy a bag using my link, there's a way that I can have some kickback from that, but that doesn't mean uh, anything before now has been sponsored by Saddleback at all. I'm very opinionated about my bags. No bag in my collection is safe. I trade, buy, and sell these things all the time because I'm on the hunt for the perfect bag. Okay, have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you in my next video about the medium simple backpack from Saddleback Leather. See you.